I'm very curious. Now that the geese have been on a tour with us in our Class A, and this is the first time that they've been on a tour in a fifth wheel. A, I want a tour of the fifth wheel for all of you. And B, I want to find out the pros and the cons. Just because I'm curious. Let's ask. I can't knock with the wine glass. Uh oh. <laughs> Got a little wine on their bus. This, it's not messy. This is lived in. Air scan buns. This proves that you can travel with a Great Dane in a fifth yes. wheel. And a large rim. And a large rim. <laughs> the one thing that I really, really love are these huge windows. Gun buns loves them too. But look at this. Like the whole slide out is like the best view. There you go. That's even better. I mean, it's like, it's just like a big giant window. And I know that's one of the things that you guys really loved about this yeah. particular unit. Yeah. yeah. Still our research on an Alliance Grand Design, both both great units, but the Alliance is known for extra windows. And the reason they put it also the third air conditioner unit is because of the extra windows. They heat that. that Which has been nice on this trip. It's yeah. been real nice. We came down here to do our recap video because I'm like, I'm freaking hot right now. <laughs> and you cooled up and you were like, it's cool down here. Like, like it's gooseys, it's cool. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, whew. And, and I want to show too, like, I love this, this cute pantry door you can kind of open this up and you can see, I mean, there's a lot of storage space, huge fridge, Real, full size fridge and freezer. Yep. And it's uh, it's DC, which means it's battery. So it could run off the battery, uh, which is really unique for an RV. And the kind of thing for the fan night thing. Oh, wow. That's cool. I didn't know that. There's a solar charger on the roof, which charges the battery which will run the fridge. I'm going to ask you about that solar charger thing too, the yeah. upgrade that you guys were thinking yeah. about. The other thing I love is how you guys made this a fun bar because obviously we all like our libations. You've got the two-ton cabinets, so the kitchen, you kind of have the cream cabinet. Soft closed doors. Which is which nice. Is Wood magnets. Wood magnets. Gas stove. Huge stove. And, and oven. oven. Yeah. Which is very cool to have. Yeah. And this island. This island is probably my favorite thing I about Mitzvah. I think it's on our favorite thing and it, uh, because there's so much room on it. It's yeah. where you prepare everything. And another thing I love about fifth wheels is the height of the ceiling. Oh, yeah, because you're see tall. How, uh, see how tall that it is. It feels like you're a house. Yeah. It really does. And you got cool, like, accent lighting everywhere. I mean, yeah. it's, yeah. like you said, it's kind of sleek and cool. I also love, I mean, you've got your dining area here, but you've got the movie chairs. See, the movie chairs for me, oh, gosh. because one thing that Mike and I love to do is we love to binge watch Netflix, Amazon movies on those nights when you don't want to do anything and you've traveled all day. You're like, like what night? Exact, perfect night. I thought it out of the bed. I was like, oh man, I'd like to be in one of the movie theaters yeah. right now. And Angie, do you know how many RVs we walked out of that didn't have yes. movie chairs or the perfect movie chair comfort. I mean, those are all electric, so they, the, you know, the foot yes, pops up, and best. Nice. It's just, it's really awesome. Those are your right. pain's bath. I mean, we fall, I fall asleep at least. Yeah, well, oh my gosh, look how bad. That is I'm nuts. <laughs> that See, is like, I have been, even with looking at some class A buses, I keep telling Mike, I want a bus that has two movie chairs. I don't know why, yes. it's like a bucket it's list huge. thing for me. It was That's huge what? for him and I couldn't figure it out. And now that we have them, yeah. Now I know. Yeah. And then you still have a big couch, which kind of, to be honest with you, turns into gun buns. There's gun no buns. That's really gun buns couch, to be that honest. Was, that's a sleeper sofa. So yeah. Oh, all it up. It's a bed underneath the table. Yeah. And then if you look up here, you've still got some more storage and uh, really storage. decorative accents, which is, yeah. oh, that's cool. me. Yeah. <laughs> we like the decorative accents. Of course, you got to have the geese adventures. Yeah. Emma loves all her little accents. You got to see this too. She's got all of her fun. And you still you even got accent lighting under the the eye mask, which is sleek. Oh, I just noticed your bedding is very lovely. <laughs> I really like your bedding back here. Big king size bed. Yeah, that's yeah. nice. And then in here, the front closet, we had the option because it was already prepped for a washer dryer. Oh, that's nice. So washer dryer on both sides there. And then a nice big closet still, even with the washer dryer. Still plenty of room. 
Yeah. That's that's pretty cool. Tons of storage oh. underneath the bed. And under the bed is where we store our bike clothes. A huge storage. Oh, wow. So our bike clothes were in there when we... Oh, my gosh. That's in like killer storage. storage. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Okay. And then you even got a dresser and a little stool here when you're getting dressed, putting on your That's a hamper underneath there. Oh, yep. sweet. That lifts up into a little hamper. There you go. You can see in his underwear. <laughs> That's already. <laughs> <laughs> I miss that. I miss that. I miss that. <laughs> No, but what's nice about that is it kind of controls your size of laundry. So if that's full, you totally need to do laundry because then you keep the laundry small. I like that idea. Yeah. Bar doors, which is cool. Yeah. Modern, sleek, yeah, really cool. and a space saver if you think about it. Yeah. And then the most important full size the bathroom yeah. residential shower. Hey! hey, look how big I am, and all yeah. oh, this thing's awesome. Um, are you going to take the stickers off? I'm just We're wondering. Full size <laughs> residential shower. <laughs> you have a ton of room in here. This is nice. You this guys. is a 35 foot. Come on, Bumble. 35 foot. 35 this foot. Because you see some, what are the big ones that you see? Are those like 45, 55? Yeah, like 45, 43 foot, and they're typically fifth wheels, the three axles, the dual axle. But the 35 foot, what's nice is it's maneuverable. We have a Ram 3500 single rear wheel meaning not not dually um and it handles freaking great it's probably about 14 15 000 pounds that we're pulling which is and nothing feet, for that you truck you into a state park yeah so if you stay under 35 feet you can get into state park oh good point okay those state parks yeah um we'll let you still in but those yeah. state parks that are like ah uh, we only have enough room for 35 feet this gets you in at everywhere basically you guys now have been on the road for about four or five weeks. Do you need six days, right? Yeah, the seven and up tomorrow. So I still love each other. I know. <laughs> oh, you know what? Did I used to love each other? Still married. I forgot the fireplace. You took the cool fireplace and the really nice big TV. You guys have talked about possibly doing the upgrade solar panel. Yeah. Yeah. So talk about the expense of that and if you think you can do it. Well, you know what? We were gung ho to do it before we went on this trip. Now we have a generator, which is in the front, which is it's prepped for a generator. So yeah. that's kind of rare to have a generator in a 35 footer. But what it allows us to do is boondock and things like that. The extra solar panel, extra lithium batteries will allow us to run more things like lights and AC. one B you know, eight. You can't really run AC so much on those, but you you have the ability to run things a little bit longer, but we have a generator, buy a couple extra thirty pound tanks, basically live off this thing, you know, just yeah, you off could. the sunlight. But you would because you have a twelve volt fridge, so that could that'd be perfect. So you got the fridge, but you're gonna not be able to run your airs and again that generator could be that backup. That backup. So we're just we're on this trip we ran as the generator's primary solar as backup. But if we really wanted a boondock I would do the solar panels with the lithium batteries, multiple lithium batteries, and use a generator as a backup. Yeah. Another big benefit, too, just real quick, is when you when you look at, we had Class A's, we had Integra, we had a, a Numar, and we have this, right? And when you look at some of those, the technology behind it is great. They're amazing. And you have touch pads, you have uh, Oasis heating systems, you have all that. But that also leads to possible issues those things break down this is very simplistic so if you know how to fix things plumbing in the house the simplistic things yeah there's not a lot that can go wrong so a lot of people buy these fifth wheels and boondock with them because there's not a lot of stuff that could go wrong right um, outside of your pay grade of being able to fix right right yeah outside the normal handyman type guy so what do you think is the biggest difference between traveling in a class a and a fifth wheel because you've had both now well you know the class a i can't take anything away from it because they're awesome right i mean they're also i love the big windshield you're you're up and you're driving and you see more as you know we're driving in a ram truck right but the benefit i think the benefit is is the the how small it is and how you can maneuver and also the simplicity like i said and also be able to unhitch and hook this truck up Personally, it takes like two minutes, not even. I mean, all you're doing is just back it into a pin, clicking it, and away you go. So it's it's it's, it's very simple. And the cost wise, you're talking about all in for a high end fifth wheel of a hundred grand, where a class A, the way you really want it's you know four, five, six hundred thousand bucks right at minimum. So you know, I think if you're if you're getting into RVing or even if you're looking to downsize, 
you know, you, get, you do have to buy a heavy duty truck, but it's a truck you can use all day anyway. So it's, it's not like just sitting there. Yeah. Um, all in, we're under 200,000 with right. a fifth wheel on a trunk. Right. Sun breaks down on your RV, a fifth wheel, you can drop it somewhere, have somebody fix it. So something breaks on your manger on your class A, then you're stuck. And for the most part, that thing's hotel. sitting there yeah. and you're going to a hotel. So anyways. There's pros sense. and cons to both, though. Yeah, They're all equal. Days. That's what we've established on this trip is we can't figure out where the breaking point yeah. between the pros and cons are. Yeah. Like the, another pro would be driving down the road. You can get up. And I used to just get up while he's driving and make sandwiches. And then yeah. we eat. We never stopped. Yeah. But now we have to stop for me to go out and make a sandwich. So when you guys stop, are you getting out of the truck coming in here while he's pumping gas? You're in a sandwich. So yeah. at least you can still... Walk in here oh, yeah, into yeah. the refrigerator. Well, and that's the thing, too. With the fifth wheels, there's four plans that you can't access the refrigerator. That's super huge. Like, if you're looking to be able to do that and stop and have lunch and access everything that you need, the only thing we can't access is the pantry. You need to access the refrigerator for your lunch beats and your cheese. Yeah. Your yeah. A yeah. lot of fifth wheels, you can't do that. So you do your can't. research when it's right. closed up. How is it going to, how are you going to work it when it's closed up? Yeah. You got to start. Go to the bathroom and you, can you make lunch? Yeah. And so we put the bread and our chips and everything we need in that, in the bar cabinet so we can have access to everything we need when we're on the road. Well, I appreciate the tour. I've enjoyed your coach wheel. <laughs> Just wanted you to know. Love having you over. You and I think Gunnar likes it. I Gunnar think. loves it. And, Mike, and Mikey likes it. And Mikey likes it. Hey! <laughs>